They come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. You can have large and small sponges shaped as vases or baskets or even large barrel sponges. They can be branching, they can be round, they can be encrusting, they can be massive or thin. So the variability of the body plan is pretty amazing. Many of us have used them to bathe or clean with. And the most famous one is SpongeBob SquarePants, a cartoon character who entertains children from his pineapple in the sea. But have you ever given sponges much thought? The 500 million years of evolution indicate that they're true survivors. In recent years, Researchers discovered that sponges are one of the groups of marine animals that produce the most bioactive compounds, leading to many medicinal uses. These include the development of drugs that treat viral infections, other infectious diseases, and a variety of cancers. There's over 8,500 species of sponges that are known. Sponges are found in all ocean basins, from tropical to Arctic. There's a few freshwater sponges, so they are very widespread. Many tropical sponges can be found on shallow reefs to deep reefs. Sponges are animals, primitive and simple. They don't have true specialized or differentiated tissue, like a heart or a brain or a liver. They do have differentiated cells. Depending on the type or class of sponge, the skeleton can be made out of silica or calcium carbonate. So most sponges have a silica-based skeleton, and these are in the form of what's called spicules. These spicules determine the consistency or feel of a sponge. You can go from very soft to very rock-like. People might learn a little bit from sponges as to how do they survive disturbances, changing climates. Who do you want to go to when you run into trouble? Well, it's a group that's been around for a long period of time, and the sponges fit that bill. What might sponge genomes tell us about long-term survival? What other secrets might sponges reveal? <laughs>